Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. We are looking at some quite bad <laughs> skincare and makeup hacks. Hacks from the wonderful world of TikTok, of course. And we're gonna be trying some of these hacks and kind of correcting them using products from Skin Cupid, the sponsor of today's video. If you're into K-beauty and you want somewhere to find like the trending products, the products people are actually using and actually love, Skin Cupid is the best place to go. There's a curated selection of products over there. And they have very kindly supplied me with a discount code for you all today, Robert W10. Skin Cupid do ship worldwide, but they are based in the UK. So for all you people in the UK that usually have to wait a long, long time for your K-beauty products, this will be your go-to place to order. I will leave the links to products used in this video down below in the description box. Thank you again to Skin Cupid for sponsoring this video. Let's get into it. Let's see what hacks we have. Coconut oil. Just make sure it's virgin and organic. It's amazing, has ingredients in it you can actually, okay. Coconut oil, listen, I used to use it as makeup remover all the time because I thought I was being like really natural. <laughs> However, in terms of using it as a moisturizer, yes, it's moisturizing, right? It, it's oil, it's literally oil. It, it can make the skin worse. However, it can actually clog your pores. It's not that great. That's not really what we want our moisturizer to do, especially if you're a little bit more oily, more prone to acne, it, bringing it down everywhere is not a good idea. Also, coconut oil isn't actually really a moisturizer, right? It's more of an emollient, which means it can only help your skin, like feel soft, to actually look after your skin, to actually have the benefits of a moisturizer. You need to use a moisturizer. <laughs> you want your ingredients in your product, whatever it is, whether it's makeup, skincare, to be balanced and well thought through and studied and, you know, everything else. You don't, don't want to take the risk of it causing like damage to your skin. So if you have extremely dry skin to the point where you're thinking, you know what, coconut oil sounds good, get yourself a moisturizer for extremely dry skin. This is the Soo Jung Two Time Barrier Intensive Cream. Intensive cream, those two words. Like if you were oily, it might be like lightweight gel. You know what I mean? This is perfect for sensitive skins. It's perfect for acne prone skin as well. Even if you are a little bit oily, you can use something like this in areas where you're a little bit more dehydrated. If I'm prepping a client's skin for makeup, I will use a gel or, or fluid on areas that are a little bit more oily. And if there's somewhere that needs a little bit more help, it tends to be like the cheeks here, around the nose, sometimes around the hairline, then I'll use a cream. It has ingredients that help to soothe the skin as well, which is a lot more than coconut oil would do. It has paraffinol and green tea extract. So you need, you need ingredients, you need things, you know what I mean? Okay, what is next? Let's have a look. You've been struggling with your roman lip stain never looking as glossy and juicy as these photos it's probably because you're making the same mistake that i made so here's how i fixed it you first okay. apply your lip stain as usual i like to apply mine just in the inner lip stop right there i know you want to rub your lips together but don't do it this formula needs a couple seconds for that glossy layer to develop and if you rub your lips together that will disrupt that so instead just blend the outer edges without touching the center <laughs> already you can see that glossy layer start to form for an extra shine you can go in with a second layer just in the middle ta-da even without a gloss it looks just as juicy and glossy like the photos so if you've been disappointed by this definitely give it another go and let me know what you think i've always liked the romand like lip stains their lip products i i thought i was using them like well like normal but you do always see so when you go into like buy these products the the swatches the lip swatches always look incredibly glossy and and hydrated and wet almost so i'm gonna try this let me just show you let me just I, i'm just gonna try it how i would normally this is papaya jam this is a romand one number 29 so usually i would do like this oh my god that sounds so good i would do the whole lip then i would rub together and then i take my foundation or whatever it is i'm using and then go around the edges and fade it out a little bit but it doesn't, it doesn't look quite look like <laughs> the product. So let's try, let's try that method. Okay, so we're gonna do just a noodle here. And so don't touch them together, wait for that glossy, <laughs> glossy and um, to develop. Okay, and then it's a blend, oh my god, it is so much more. I'm just gonna let it sit a little bit longer and I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit more shine. It does look so much more shinier and it feels secure. It doesn't feel like a gloss. Oh my God, that is so much better. So let it develop. Like you need to let it develop. That makes sense. Listen, life's so great when we keep learning. That 
<laughs> oh my god, yeah, and now it looks high shine, whereas before it was like, it was like a little bit shiny, but it was like, kind of not really. Good one, good one. Okay. If you have trouble with eyeshadow, try this eyeshadow hack. You'll have perfect shadow every time. Pick up a dark, medium, and shimmer shadow. We've all seen this eyeshadow hack with the lines going straight up and down. Instead, try this. Go in at an angle with each shadow slightly overlapping. This is gonna lift and elongate your eye. Blend each area, do a soft blend overall, add a little bit to the lower lash line, and bam, perfect shadow. So we went through this, like, was it last year when people were just doing lines and they were like, now blend it. This has a bit more clearer instructions. So angle, 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 blend each bit at a time and then do an overall blend. I'm gonna do it. Let me put some eye primer on. We are going back to, my lips look so good. I love that. So back to Romand. This is one of their better van palettes. This is Mahogany Garden. And so I noticed she used Kristen Dominique. We love, we love. Um, okay, so kind of like a, deeper nude, a nude and then a shimmer on the inside corner. Okay, cool, let's do that. I'm kind of nervous, I don't know why. Okay, where's my, where's my brushes? Any clean brushes would be fine. Let's go. So I'm gonna start off with the darker shade here and do more of an angle. I think I took that out too far. We'll go with it, we're going with it. I need to film another video after this, so I hope it looks <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm just gonna brush it off with my hand and then go for like this ready brown here and do that, oh, um, just next to it. Oh, it would be great if I use the right side of the brush. <laughs> no, if I'm doing this, this is gonna look terrible on me. Okay, and then we'll go into this shimmer shade right here, just to add a little bit of light to the inside corner. Okay, this could be fine. This could be okay. Let's blend every color one by one. So we'll blend the outside corner, the brown, and then overall blend. Okay, I mean, it's not terrible, right? If you weren't like the best at blending, you could be like, you know what, this is great. All I would do is maybe, you see where my lid is like hooded there? I'm just gonna add a little bit of the brown into the darker brown into that area. It's not the worst, I'll give it that. It actually worked. I think that was a me issue more than anything. I'm just gonna put a bit of foundation on so I don't look completely crazy. Okay, I'm looking like um, Bill from True Blood. And then she does, she does some under the eyes, that's good. We can do that, we can do that, easy peasy. I'm just gonna take the darker shade with a little fluffy brush. This might help like connect it all in a little bit, make it make sense, you know? Not bad, a pair of lashes, I think we would be good, right? Do I look a bit like a vampire? Sure, is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so. I've used these eyeshadows before and the formula is super smooth, super easy to blend, buildable, they are beautiful. It's also an easy day to night. You can use these neutrals, darken it up for the evening, add a bit of glitter, have a shimmer during the day, perfect. Put in your bag. Let's take a look at our next one. Today, I'll be trying an oil cleanse using Hermes Olive Oil. Oil cleansing is really effective for pulling out impurities from the skin. All you do is apply a dull of olive oil on your dry skin and rub into the skin for about 20 minutes. Then I apply face wash and rub into the skin. You literally will feel all of the blackheads and little mini bumps coming out. It is not always better to use the natural version of something. Olive oil isn't made for your skin as such. You know what I mean? There's olive oil products that are great for hair, great for the skin, um, but pure olive oil isn't really the one. So oil, we know oil like naturally like repels water, right? The difference between an oil cleanser, a cosmetic one versus olive oil is that oil cleansers emulsify. So you know when you put it on and you, you add water, it emulsifies, it turns to like a white milk and then you can wash it away completely. Olive oil doesn't do that. It, it repels a little bit. Even when you, you're mixing it with your face wash, you have, there's still gonna be a layer on the skin. There's still gonna be a, a layer of it. Like I said earlier, I used to use coconut oil for my makeup remover. You can still feel it on the skin. And yes, it felt like, oh, I've been so natural and so, not, it's not a good idea. It's it's not balanced. It's not, it's gonna hang around on your face. Yes, there's probably a bit of a glow because there's olive oil on your face. 
People probably used to do this, but we don't have to do this anymore. We can use products that are kinder to our skin to cleanse, right? She mentioned it, it you can feel it pulling out impurities, blackheads, all that kind of stuff. Olive oil, perhaps, maybe, but a, a, a good face wash, a good oil cleanser would be better. This is the Anua Heartleaf Pore Control Cleansing Oil. It's an oil that cleanses. I go through cleansing oils constantly. I'm running it because I'm washing my face every time I film, like three times a day. So this is actually a product that, of course, will remove your makeup, dissolve the makeup, but also helps to remove blackheads and sebaceous filaments effortlessly. Sebaceous filaments are those, you know, sometimes you get those little dots in your nose that aren't necessarily full on blackheads, but they look like blackheads sebaceous filaments. So like the name suggests, it contains heart leaf, which is anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. It has antibacterial properties. So not only will it actually come off your skin and emulsify, it's also good for your skin. It has added benefits. Please, please, <laughs> let's not be using olive oil directly on our faces. Hair maybe, I don't know, I'm not a hair person. Good, I still can't believe how glossy this is. Okay, I would love to know what you think of these hacks down below. Do you use coconut oils, olive oils to clean, moisturize? Let me know your experience with that down below. As I said, all the products from Skin Cupid used in this video will be linked down below in the description box there for you so you can check them out for yourself. And don't forget to use my discount code at checkout, Robert W10. Thank you again to Skin Cupid for sponsoring this video. They are amazing over there at Skin Cupid, so do go ahead and check them out. Thanks again. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.